In this scenario, we're looking at the movement of the milk inside the barrel fore and aft, longitudinally, what we call surge. We're looking at two different behaviours. Firstly, surge as you're going just up and down hills and, it, and the product naturally flows to the back on up hills and to the front on down hills. And in the second scenario, we're looking at behaviour under brakes. You want to tell us about the stop we're going to do here, Lindsay? We've got a nice little straight stretch to road, probably come in at about 40 kilometres an hour and hit the brakes, not hard, but enough to slow us down reasonably quickly without dragging the brakes. Yeah, so we should hope to see the, the product moving around the baffle and, and see how much that baffle slows its uh, progress. Uh, I'd describe it as the stop. Um, perhaps the light goes orange and it's just enough that you're not going to go through. So it's not, it's not an emergency stop like someone running out in front of you, but it's still towards the firmer end uh, there. All right, let's see how it behaves. So in this compartment, we can see what's called a fully welded baffle. It offers significantly better reduction in longitudinal surge when compared to a pin mounted baffle and certainly compared to the big compartment you can see in some of our other videos. So focusing on what's happening inside the barrel, we're in the front compartment of the tanker here with about 30, maybe 35% full. It's got a fully welded baffle, so we've got a big personal access hole and then small holes, one on each side, one up near the roof to let any uh, air move through and also we one down the floor for unloading. And when he starts to break, we see it all rush forwards there, particularly through that big personal access hole, which might seem like a lot of movement. But if we jump across now and look at the footage of an unbaffled barrel and we see the mobility of the product there and how hard it's hitting those end walls, or if we compare that to a pin mounted baffle, I've only got a, a shot of one here, we don't have the same footage of it moving around. And then we compare that now back to our fully welded baffle. We can see how much it reduces the movement of product just down to those uh, four or five holes.